Unruly airline passengers continue to make headlines. This video taken just last week at Austin's airport showing a fight between two passengers on a flight from New Orleans. KXAN's Matt Grant joining us live in the studio with a look at why we're seeing more and more of these kind of uh, conflicts. And Matt, what made you look into this issue? Well, as you just mentioned, you've probably seen these viral videos right. of these out of control passengers. So we wanted to know what's being done about this. One, to try to stop it, but also what kind of punishment these passengers could face. Uh, what is the FAA doing to crack down on this? Yeah, so the FAA is saying that they're taking a zero tolerance approach to all of this. So they are taking a traditional approach. Uh, they are issuing tens of thousands of dollars in fines. And then if you look on your screen, they're also taking uh, somewhat of an unusual approach. Uh, they're using the social media memes. Uh, this one, that one was talking about uh, Fight Club. Uh, here, this one about a new truck. You Basically, you could buy a new truck, but instead you're going to have to pay $30,000 upwards in fines because you punched a flight attendant or whatever it is. So the FAA is taking this very seriously, the issue of unruly passengers, passengers refusing to wear masks. Uh, tonight at 10, we're looking at some examples of some Texas cases uh, where flights, passengers coming in and out of Texas have faced tens of thousands of dollars in fines. So the FAA is taking this very seriously and really cracking down. Robert. What, what's fueling all this? You can't get alcohol on a plane anymore. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, the FAA is actually blaming uh, alcohol. Those stiff fines oh. might be stemming from some stiff drinks. Basically, they're sending out letters to airports all across the country uh, blaming to-go drinks that are selling at restaurants or selling passengers, and then they're sneaking it onto the planes. They're not allowed to bring in outside alcohol, so right. they think that might be causing some of these sneaking issues. Sneaking it in. Okay, Matt, thanks very much. We'll look for your report later tonight. Be sure to join us at 10 o'clock or over at 9 o'clock on the CW Austin for Matt's full report. It includes a look at how long the federal transportation mask mandate could be in place.